Vision OS 2.0 is now in beta, just released. I want to give you a quick review of some of the new features. So let's go. First off, let's start with Persona. Uh, I'll show you for a minute the updated look here. There we go. I'll bring this closer. You can kind of see hands really nice and reactive, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm noticing a, a bit better responsiveness for the model, and uh, it's not too bad. Let's talk about the new control center and volume features. When you look at your hand and open it, you got a little button that pops up there. And you can see, as I open it, it's pretty natural, right? When it sees an open hand, it's going to show up. Also, you have to be looking. So when I, when I look away, it goes away, look, away, look. And then when we press it, it'll make the apps either go away or come back. Now, you noticed when I look this way, it turns into a clock with my battery, Wi-Fi, uh, volume. So we got a few little details here, which is really nice. And again, it's really fluid. So I go back and forth, back and forth. Then I can click and we can see control center, normal situation here. And then let's take a look again. Now I can hold and then adjust the volume. So a much better method for adjusting volume compared to the previous method of spinning the wheel up on the top of the headset. Now you notice environments are off. Let's check out our new environment. Bora Bora, really nice looking. Uh, great graphics and kind of movement with the trees and the wind. You got the waves coming. I really like this environment so far. Let's see what it looks like at night while I also show you what the YouTube theater mode looks like. Let's first turn down this uh, environmental volume though. Okay, so we'll bring up Safari. We're in the YouTube app. We can still move the screen of course like this. We'll go into the full screen mode. And you can see we've got a full screen window right here, which looks really nice. And here we can go ahead and make the screen uh, nice and big or smaller, just like any other media app. So let's move that up here. And then we're back to normal. Now, I'll admit before I was able to see the environments button up here to show theater mode, but that is not here anymore. So I'm assuming that might be a little bit of a bug. Let me also show you what it looks like just in a normal space. So here we have YouTube taking up the wall, looking really good. And otherwise, YouTube is just gonna be pretty much the same. And I feel like I don't need any third-party app anymore to use YouTube when I can go into theater mode. So real quick, I'll just show you again. Nice and quick, moving around. No problem. Let's move on to Photos. Photos app has been redesigned and allows you to see a 3D view of photos as well. Uh, so even though these pictures have not been taken in spatial mode or 3D, I can go ahead and select one. And then that button right there, spatial, uses their machine learning, AI, whatever, and makes it a uh, separate image for the left and right eye. And now I have a 3D view, which honestly looks pretty good. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, <laughs> this little pup is like really coming out at me. I mean, that looks pretty natural, honestly. I can also just turn that off, back to normal. And let's just try one more photo. Here's a photo I took years ago with an older phone. So let's see how well this works. And again, shows a really nice 3D view, of the snowboard coming out and yeah, that looks really good. Let's move on. I just set up a little bit of a screen mirror here for my laptop. Now, what happens if we go into an environment? Of course, we can only see the screen, but the new thing now is you can see the keyboard nice and clear. Look how smooth that is. As I, I still look at it, I can kind of see it. As I put my hands there, it gets nice and transparent in the pass-through. And then if I look up, you'll see nothing down here. Uh, so I think that's a really nice implementation. It just works. There's no extra setting or anything. It is just there. I think this is a perfect implementation of transparent pass-through for the keyboard. Really happy with that feature. There was a feature that was teased today that would allow you to do a giant, big, ultra-wide monitor when mirrored to your Mac, but that's coming later this year. I'll be sure to do a video when that comes out. Otherwise, 
Thank you for watching, and I'll leave it at that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will see you on the next one.